7.09 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm XRP Future Millionaire. And it's September, what is it, September 6th, 2022 here in the great state of Michigan. I'm going to do this update real quick. Today I've been a little busy. I did manage to put out three little videos today, but Julie's has, her, she had her um, doctor's appointment for her foot for anybody who's aware, who's been following. She had to go see the other insurance company's doctor today because they're getting close to her final settlement. After three years, as you guys know, she got in a bad car accident and had four surgeries. Wasn't her fault, obviously. So it's one of those things we've had. So with XRP, we have it at 3186. Is that support? It came down to it absolutely beautifully. We had a rise up one time to the overhead resistance at 3434. We almost hit it dead on. Um, actually, we kind of did. And that was a good spot for some to short it. But the overall feel of the market right now, as I've been thinking for a very long time, is we have to come lower than this level. Now, the only way to actually get through this level is 3186. If we can get through 3186, then we have a little bit of a drop from here that's pretty guaranteed. There's nothing in between this and this about 6.13% drop to just sub 30 cents. But then if you can continue to fill this pattern out, You'd have 28.50 after, but nothing can happen yet until this confirms it. When we break this bear flag and this double bottom support at 31.86, there is nothing that's going to happen unless we can break that. Bitcoin's under 20K and under 19K at 18,886, roughly, and that's on its way down. It looks like to me, after probably a back test at likely 19,536, if it can get the strength. We would have to come down to 18,229 still. And it doesn't look like it's got a lot of strength going back up. But the common rejection point here for Bitcoin would be about 19,190. If it can't get up to the 19,254, which it's so close to the area you would expect it just to hit it. XRP in relation to the perpetual futures for BitGet. You can see we came down past some key areas of support. A resistance area is 32.27 and 32.35. But if you look at the USD, the Ripple USD chart, this back test is where I would be looking at it. It's already come up to the 32.63 area. So does it have to come back any farther? I mean, I would be looking at about 32.63 but since it did hold this, but it did come up. And mainly what I'm looking for is a break of that support. It really is. This downtrending support line gets broken at the 3186. That is where I'm looking to short this market because then I know I can ride it down to 2990 pretty comfortably. And likely also if that breaks 2892. But you could get that run where if it broke down there, that's where it could continue down. And our bearish continuation has a technical target down all the way at 1104. There's also other spot or 1478, I apologize, is our technical target on that bear flag break. Hit that like button. It really does help. Turn that bell notification to all. And if you want to trade like I do and buy XRP without a VPN, join me over on BitGet. Just go to my previous videos. So here, you can come through the video description. tells you what I'm about. And then if you want to donate, there's ways to do it. Join Tom's Army, which is the best way to support me. And then if you want to join me on BitGet, you can trade with um big cat trade xrp with no vpn in the usa and then you can copy my trades via copy trading xrp future millionaire click that link to join me over on big cat